हम बातें कर रहे हैं दिल से मैं आपका दोस्त आपका अजीज सुशील डब्ल्यू ई हैंड ले रोड ब्यूटिफुल पोएम कॉल इन विक्टस एंड क्लिंट ईस्टवुड द लेजेंडरी एक्टर प्रोड्यूसर डायरेक्टर मेड अ फिल्म कॉल इन विक्टस अब फ्यू इयर्स अगो एंड द थॉट ऑफ द पोएम एंड अ फिल्म वॉज आई एम द मास्टर ऑफ माई फेट आई एम द कैप्टन ऑफ माई सोल I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul, and the same thought was picked up by Raj Kapoor in his film Boot Polish, where he says one of the character David. He says in the film, "Nanne munne bache teri mutti me kya hai? Nanne munne bache teri mutti me kya hai? Mutti me hai takdeer hamari, humne kismat ko bas me kya hai? That's the answer of the children there. I am the master of my fate." I am the captain of my soul. It's a beautiful poem, isn't it, my dear friends? Or Hindi may be. उन्होंने बड़े ही खूबसूरती से इसी ख्याल को उन्होंने ढाल दिया था. There's a beautiful story that I thought I must share with all of you. But let's hear the story. There was a man who was um, who, who gets a dream at night. He sees a wonderful dream. He sees Lord Shiva come into his dream. and lord says to this man go to the jungle next morning go to the jungle and you'll meet a sadhu a simple sadhu you go meet him and ask him for a diamond he'll give it to you go ask him tomorrow that's a dream when the man wakes up in the morning he remembers the dream vividly very clearly so he goes to the jungle immediately walks into the jungle deeper in the jungle and after a little while he sees a sadhu a very simply clad sadhu sitting under under a banyan tree so this man just goes and falls at his feet and says hey sadhu Lord Shiva came into my dream last night and he said that you have a diamond and he the lord asked me to ask you to give it to me will you please give me that diamond Sadhu looks at him smiles you know he has a small little jolly you know a cloth bag a simple cloth bag he delves into the into into the jolly and digs deep into it and finally you know comes out with a diamond It's a very large diamond. It's like a rock, a large rock. You know, that's a that's a kind of diamond he 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 gets in his hand. And he says, "Is this what you want? Is this what Lord Shiva asked you to take from me?" The man is delighted to see the the diamond. He says, "Yes, that's the one I want." Sadhu just gives it to him without a single thought, without without blinking an eye. The man goes away and gets to know from the experts. that diamond is worth billions and trillions of dollars or rupees and he could buy whatever he wanted after a few days a same man who got his diamond from the sadhu he comes back to the jungle falls at the sadhu's feet and says sadhu i'm here again sadhu says why have you come come back i gave you the diamond he said no I want something else from you. He says, "What do you want from me?" Well, he says, "Well, I want the strength of your mind, the emotional strength, the intellectual, the spiritual strength. You gave me that diamond worth billions and trillions of dollars and rupees, just like this, without thinking even for a minute, without any kind of uh, displeasure or unhappiness or regret or remorse or what, nothing. You just gave it to me. That is an amazing strength." I want that. Now that is one part of the story, friends. There was another boy who gets the same dream. Lord Shiva comes into into his dream and says, "Look, you go to the jungle, meet the sadhu, and ask him for a diamond, and he'll give it to you. Go ask for it." And this boy, you know, he's about twenty-one, twenty-two year old guy. He gets his dream, remembers things clearly, vividly. He remembers every word of it. Walks. Into, into the jungle, and then comes sees this man, this sadhu sitting under a banyan tree. 
He falls at his feet and says, Hey Sadhu, Lord Shiva came into my dream and he said that I come and meet you and ask you for a diamond. And diamond is what he wants. So Sadhu digs, you know, digs deep into his you know, cloth bag, gets the diamond out and says, Is this what you want? It's a large, large, very large diamond. And it's obviously worth trillion, uh, trillions of dollars or rupees. He yeah, just gives it to him. What this boy does is, he has a vision. He plans everything. And with the wealth that he gets through Lord Shiva, through the sadhu, he builds hospitals and colleges and a whole township for the welfare of his fellow citizens. The two ways to a story. One where the man wants the emotional and spiritual strength from the sadhu and not the diamond. And here's another guy who says, look, I want the diamond. Use that for the people's welfare. So either way is wonderful, isn't it, my dear friend? What do you think? What would you do, my dear friends, if you were to meet such a situation, like if you had Lord Shiva coming to dream and you actually walk in the jungle and you meet a sadhu who gives you the diamond? What would you do? Apne dost, apne aziz, Sushil Gajwani ko Good night. Shubhratri. Shabakhev.